Hey guys, it's Joost Rijmakers from Level Up. Today's lesson will be how to improve your bobbing and weaving or U-turns without training with a partner. But before we start, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and go to my website for more information about Level Up. Let's start. So, when you want to do a bobbing and weaving or a U-slip, doesn't matter how you call it, uh, the first thing you want to do is have the correct posture and the right motion. Uh, what I see uh, a lot of people do wrong or make mistake is they bend their back. So they, their vision goes to the floor and then, so yeah, you slip a punch, but when you look at it from the side and I go like this, it's no good posture at all. You cannot fight when you are standing like this. So what you want to do is you twist your shoulder a bit in front, then you squat, you twist, and you come up. That's basically the motion you want to do. So your back stays pretty straight. If you do it fast, it goes more like a, a U-turn. That's why they call it a U-slip. And bobbing and weaving is also a common terminology for the movement. So, we go one and two. And one and two. If you look like from the side, it's one and two. You see, I do not bend my back. I can keep my eyes on my opponent. They hit me and I just have to go underneath it. You don't have to go too deep. You get too slow. Your muscles will get too tired. It's not good. So short explosive motions. First practice them in the air. It's always good to film yourself so you can see what you're doing. Sometimes you think you do it right and then you see it on camera or in a mirror and it totally looks not right. So it's always good to film yourself. So one and two. After you have the hang of this, uh, we'll go to the next variation to practice it. So for the next drill, you want to have a cord on shoulder height. If you don't have a bob, just attach it to someone else uh, between the door or whatever. If you can make a cord on shoulder height, you can practice this drill. So um, go with your left feet in front, left shoulder, and you just lift the cord a little bit. You take your defensive dip position, and then you go, the same technique as we just explained, underneath it, and roll under it. And then pull it up with your right shoulder. Your left shoulder is in the back. So it's one, two, one, two, one, two. If you get the hang of that, you can even move to the front, to the back, all kind of motions you can practice. Hop. Get comfortable about slipping underneath the rope without thinking about it. Don't go with your head into the rope so then you first go to the left. No, you go underneath it and twist your shoulder. You do not have to think about it, it has to go naturally. Fun way to practice it as well if you have a bob or a punching bag or even you can do it in the air. I'll turn around now. You go Underneath it, load up your shoulder, hook. Underneath it, 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 hook. It's a great way to get a cardio workout. It's a great way to train your muscle memory. It's just great training. So uh, good luck with practicing and see you next time.